What's going on everybody? Welcome to another video. Today I'm going to review the Weepoto extension grip for the Canon R7. So when I purchased my Canon R7, I knew there were no options for a battery grip, at least not at this time. So I did some research and I looked high and low to find some sort of an extension for the grip. I found that you could use an older battery grip with the R7, but it required some modifications and only served as a grip. Couldn't use it as a battery grip, couldn't install the batteries and use that. I also found some extension grips that were 3D printed and were fairly inexpensive, ranging from around $40 to $80. Now I have nothing against 3D printed products, but these were just bleh, you know? Finally, I came across this. This little guy is the Weepoto grip extension. It's made of some pretty durable aluminum, maintains easy access to the battery for a quick replacement, and feels pretty solid on the camera. Of course, it does add a bit of weight to the camera overall, but I'm used to a full-on battery grip, so the small amount of weight doesn't really bother me, not even in the slightest. Before I got this, I was actually looking into the small rig cage, but it was kind of lacking any sort of an extension on the grip. If it did, you'd be watching a completely different video. So my choices were a small rig cage, this grip extension from Wipoto, or one of the 3D printed extensions that I mentioned earlier. In my mind, it was a no-brainer, metal over plastic all day. Plus a $40 3D printed extension that in my opinion was pretty goofy looking. Now, I thought about what would be the best in the long run. Plastic breaks pretty easy, especially things that are 3D printed. So the obvious choice for me was to spend a little more and hope I made the right choice. So when it arrived, I ripped open the packaging, pulled it out, and found this little blue box. Nothing special. The basic logo on the front. You know, I honestly expected a little bit more in the packaging. And when I opened it, it was just the grip inside with the little tool sitting inside of a small plastic bubble wrap baggie. There was no manual, no literature at all. Hell, not even a website address to visit for more products. You know, I always like to check out products from brands not a lot of people have heard of because I happen to be in a position to help those brands out a little bit and to help people watching my videos. But all of that aside, all that matters is the product itself. Now, this thing is sturdy. It's well manufactured, it does its job, and it doesn't require doing anything special to change out your battery. I have no regrets about this purchase. Now, I did it first because $70 for a small grip extension seemed just a tad high. But after popping this onto my R7, I feel pretty damn good about it. So if you have an R7 and are having issues with your pinky finger falling off the grip or just wishing you had a little bit more to hold on to, I would 100% recommend this. I found it on Amazon for $70, got free shipping, and it showed up in like two days. So no regrets at all. I hope some of you guys were able to take something from this video. If you did, be sure to leave me a like and a comment down below and don't forget to subscribe for future videos. And that's going to do it for this one. So until next time, guys, get out and shoot and I'll see you in the next video.